you know last year at this point in the term like life was going really bad for me um like at this point in time last year i was crying like you know just like on the floor of my room most of the time um and i kind of like didn't know how to say that and it's so good kind of to see that like you know i'm, I'm still struggling at times like it's not always easy and like this is a hard degree not gonna lie but like it's so nice when like you walk out of a supervision and you had like a moment of success good morning guys so it was a 5 a.m morning for me which is early but okay so I just quickly got myself ready and then I sat down to do my makeup after I got dressed. I always get dressed first because I just feel like it makes you feel more awake. And yeah, so there's me um, before getting ready and then finally looking a little bit more awake but still in my pink fleece jacket because it is quite cold in the mornings. And then I just had a quick snack. Um, I only have breakfast at 8 because I eat in the buttery which opens at 8. So I usually just have a quick snack in the morning just to make sure that, you know, I ate something. And then I pack my bag and as you can see I had my free books for property law in there. And then I just added my water bottle because you need to stay hydrated. And then I was off to the college library which is open 24-7 which is amazing because you can go there you know on your own time like when you want to study and not when the university considers it's a good time to study and i really love going there in the morning even though it's a little bit creepy to be the only person in the library so here i am turning on all the lights because i am the first person there and i went to the sound study room but it really doesn't matter because the entire library is silent at 5:40 in the morning so you know Hi guys, so um, I'm in the library now and I'm in the silent study room. So why am I talking? Because nobody's here, so it's fine. So this is what I'm doing, which is land law, co-ownership, severing your co-ownership, stuff like that. So yeah, we have a lot to do. Everything in pink is not red, so a lot. Um, it is Wednesday and I have until Friday to get this done because that's where my supervision is. I had to reschedule it because I had an allergic reaction, so... That's why we're doing this now. Today's a very, very busy day. I'm just gonna put my lectures right here. Um, yeah, it's a lot. But we're gonna try to get some readings done in between. So right now it is 6.30. Um, so I'm just gonna try to, you know, get as much reading done in the morning as I can. I'm gonna go for breakfast at eight and we're gonna see how far we get. So yeah, let's do it. So here's me taking notes on the textbook. And I try to organize my notes in tables as much as I can because it kind of helps me put all the information into like categories, which makes it just easier to look at it later. And then I went back to the textbook and did a few more readings. And I make sure to always look at the footnotes and note down cases which are mentioned there if they're important, because most legal textbooks don't actually give you the cases in the text itself, but you need them as authorities later. And here you can see all the notes that I made um, in the morning, which I think was quite decent, but obviously there were still a lot of pink things, so still a lot to read. So after I had breakfast in the buttery, I then walked out of college and I always take this exit and it's so beautiful because college looks amazing. And then I went to the faculty and the faculty is quite different than my college because it's quite modern, but I really like going there and I had a few lectures that day. Um, so whenever I'm in lectures, I take notes on my iPad and I just download the lecture handout and I find it really useful because it just allows you to quickly draw something if you want to or anything. And during my break from lectures, I went to the library and took a few more notes on the textbook just to make sure that, you know, I get through the textbook as quickly as possible. And then I went back to a few more lectures and yeah, basically that was pretty much my entire day. I'm back in my room so it's been a minute um or more like a few hours um so now it is 5 20 um i've just walked through the rain great weather um also thank you so much extinction rebellion for making me walk 10 minutes more because my entire college is on lockdown thanks to you destroying the lawn at trinity 
yeah. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is it. I don't know why as an activist for the environment you destroy grass, which is environment. But hey, <laughs> yeah, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I think this is nothing other than criminal damage to property um, and really has not a lot to do with peaceful protest. But hey, <laughs> so yeah, that's why currently some central colleges are closing down certain exits so that the same thing doesn't happen to them. And John's is a central college. So that's why right now the entry, which I would normally use to get back in, is closed off. So I have to walk longer and, you know, get a lot wetter in the rain, which I love. So yeah, putting that aside, now it's 5.20 and I'm kind of tired, um, but we also still have a lot of work to do. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take a 20 minute break now and although I don't like watching TV as a break because I feel like it just makes you a little more tired, I feel like I can't do anything else right now. Like, yeah, <laughs> the only other option is taking a nap. So, I think I'm gonna go and watch a little bit of TV. I think I'm just gonna watch one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Those are 20 minutes. That's a fair trade-off, I feel like. One episode, I get to laugh a little. And then we're gonna go back to Landlaw. Life is fun. <laughs> so the goal for Landlaw is to get as far as we can with the textbooks. It would be ideal if we can finish them. I don't know if that's realistic. Um, but the ultimate goal is to finish it by tomorrow. Latest, Friday morning. The supervision is Friday afternoon but I would really prefer to finish it tomorrow. So that's the aim. So yeah, let's see if we can get there. Okay, so guys, it is 6.30. Um, I did, you know, sit down, do readings, and I'm, I am doing it, but I am so tired. So um, I've been thinking, you know, I can keep working now, or I can go to sleep at like seven, which sounds, great in my brain honestly um i know a lot of people who are in uni you know they're like oh I'm, I'm gonna go out and stuff like that i feel like for me the peak uni life moments are the moments where i just get to go to sleep early so yeah that's that hi mom um so i think i might do that and just wake up at four yes i do wake up at four on some days um because i'm a morning person and i'm so much more productive in the morning and Honestly, this just proves it because I'm tired and I'm honestly not productive. So I can sit here for another hour and probably read free pages or I can do it tomorrow morning at 5 in the library and probably get through those pages in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to choose tomorrow morning. Hey, look at that. I just convinced myself. So um, now I'm going to get ready probably for bed. And I should also say my decision to, you know, push some things to tomorrow was definitely influenced by the fact that one of my lectures tomorrow got cancelled because the lecture is striking um, because strikes are back in Cambridge so basically what's going on is um, the academics have a dispute with the university not the colleges so that means um, your supervisions and things like that continue because those are college based um, teaching but things like the lectures which the university organises they might be affected so one of my lectures is striking which means no international law lecture tomorrow. Um, so I only have one lecture tomorrow. So I think we can get a reasonable amount of work done in the rest of the day. So I think it's fine that, you know, we're leaving this to tomorrow. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Um, we're back in the silent study room, which is very silent because literally nobody's here except for me. Um, so yeah. But I feel like I look much more well rested than I did yesterday. At least I feel well rested. Because going to bed at 7 is heavenly. So, yeah. So but now we're in the library and we have work to do. So, um, I'm going to finish this textbook. I have about 5 pages left, so that should be a rather quick read. Um, and then we're going to move on to this one. This one will go a lot quicker because this is basically a more extended and detailed version of this. So once I have all my basics down with this one, this is a quick read, or it usually is. So I'm going to take my notes on this one, and I'm just going to finish them up, and then we're going to move on to this one. I'm hoping to finish this by noon, so that I can then move on to cases. So the cases look a lot in my reading document, like here, all of this pink stuff. Um, those are cases, and you may think, whoa, that's a lot, but honestly, um, I think I can finish that in a day, because... 
I'm someone I take a lot of time with the textbook because the textbook basically gives you you know your methodology like how do you approach a problem question to this all these things but once you know like where in which categories to put the cases it's so much easier to read them and it goes far quicker because you know what to look for so I prefer to spend more time in a textbook and like get down the methodology so that's why I think this can work out but we'll see so yeah that's pretty much the plan for the morning I have a 9 a.m. lecture which is my only lecture of the day so um, I'm gonna leave the library at 8 get breakfast go for my lecture and then we're gonna keep working so yeah let's do it and we're back to me reading the textbook and as always I just have my pen with me to make sure that I can get down any cases and underline anything important but I really try to check myself that I don't just underline everything because I'm somebody who otherwise tends to do that and then I went back to taking notes and as you can see a lot of tables sometimes a little bit of color and even sometimes some little diagrams which I draw on my iPad and then just add into the notes I will make a tutorial on how I make my notes soon but basically I just you know draw something in good notes and then I just export it as a picture and put it into my notes and pages and yeah here you can see what my notes look like at this point so we've gotten quite a bit done um, I'm actually quite happy with how far I got in that session um, it really was a quite productive morning for me and I think it was really worth you know sleeping early and then just doing my work and you can see here what it looks like when I add these little diagrams. I sometimes also add pictures to them from the internet. It's super easy to do that on the iPad, so it's really great to just, you know, add it to your notes. And yeah, then it was time to go to the faculty for my one lecture of the day. So it was really just, you know, one hour. Um, so it was a quite short trip there, but it was a quite good lecture. We had a landlord lecture and we were talking about covenants. Um, which is a topic which I was quite interested in because I hadn't really understood yet what it really meant. So it was a quite helpful lecture for me. And I'm back in the room. So um, I actually finished with this book. So bye bye modern landlord. And hello property law. Now I already started it and it is actually okay it's going well actually honestly because as i said this is going to be a bit of an easier read because this is just a more detailed version of this so we only need to get the detail a lot of it's one which is great so i'm going to keep reading this one i hope to finish it by noon we're going to see how it goes and then we're going to move on to cases so yeah that's the plan also at some point i will have to catch up on the lectures that we're missing because well, a lecture is striking, so I'll probably have to do that over the holiday. Um, I'll also see if I really have to do it because sometimes we do get exam mitigation measures, which basically means um, you just get an extra question on another topic which was lectured on so that you don't have to study a topic you weren't lectured on. This did happen for the topics you weren't lectured on last year. Also, I don't know why the lighting just went down, but hey. Um, um, but I don't know if it will happen again this year, so we will have to see. Um, so if we don't get exam mitigation measures, I'm going to have to lecture myself, which I love, because I actually really need lectures. So yeah, we're going to see. We're hoping for exam mitigation measures. But that's irrelevant for now, because now it's time for property law. So yeah, let's do it. The next day. Good morning, guys. Um, so I stayed in a room until, well, 10.30. Um, so Sejan and I are about to go to our lecture. She is, it's not a focus. Now it is. Hi. <laughs> um, so, um, I did a lot of readings for my cases because I didn't finish them yesterday. So, here we go. We're at 8,861 words. Isn't it beautiful? Um, this is what it looks like. I do need to hunt down one textbook for two pages in the law library, which I'm going to do in my break um, because I don't have that textbook. And I need to finish two cases. So that is absolutely doable in my break until I have my meeting for a Human Rights Law Society at 1. Um, so now I'm going to go to my one lecture of the day, going to finish all of this, do my Human Rights Law Society meeting, and then we have the supervision in the afternoon. So yeah, let's do it. So here's me again in lectures taking notes, and I always try to only take down the most important things that the lecturer says. But I gotta say, this is not my strong suit. I probably take a bit too many notes in lectures, and I know it. 
and then I went to the library in my one hour break and took a lot more notes on these two cases and then it was also time to look at the textbook which I managed to get digitally so I could read it on good notes on my iPad and then take notes on it on my laptop so I just quickly went over these pages and you know highlighted anything that was important so that I could then take notes on it later and just make sure that you know basically all my notes are complete and we have everything ready for the supervision. And I'm back in the room, so it is two o'clock now and um, I went to my meeting for the Human Rights Law Society and we have an event coming up, which is quite interesting, I think. Um, it's about divorce and like what you get when, you know, you're divorcing and what do you get if you're not married and you break up, which is really interesting because I'm doing family law and there's like a big debate, like whether you should even get something if you, you know, were in a relationship but you weren't married. I mean, there's very little that the courts can do, so it's quite an interesting thing. So, yeah. But putting that aside, um, land law. Interestingly enough, um, if you're not married, land law is probably the most relevant, like, area of law for you if you're trying to, you know, secure any asset or anything, because usually it's about the home. So, land law actually has an interesting ties with family law. Um, but I finished all my readings, so we're done. Um, also, bless my friend who actually scanned the reading which we had to do in the other textbook. So I could just do that and then just, you know, turn it into a diagram here. And then I just, you know, paste that diagram somewhere into my reading notes. But yeah, basically, this is what my notes look like now that they're done. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> so basically, we have written a decent... Well, 9,000 and 900 something words, 9,961, and we have 26 pages. We love to see it. But yeah, this is what my notes are like. Um, as you can see, I sometimes insert diagrams, so like this one. So this is just, you know, for me to make it clearer. I make these on good notes, and then I just export them as a picture, and then I just put them into my notes on pages. I will make a tutorial about my notes soon, I promise. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah. Sometimes I just mark things which are important in some colors. And yeah, that's pretty much how I do them. So I'm going to print these out now. So and while my printer is printing, I'm going to do the questions. So the questions are just dumb things which are just, you know, supposed to, I don't know, engage your brain about the material. Um, and we may talk about some of them in the supervision, but we may not. Yeah. So I'm going to do these as well. And yeah, I think I can finish off that by free. My supervision is 4.30. So I can take a little break then, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, and then we have to start jurisprudence readings. Don't know if I'm going to start them today. Um, we'll see. Um, after my supervision, I'll immediately go to the DBC, which is the Digital Verification Corps of Amnesty. We verify footage of human rights violations. So um, I'm going to go there straight from my supervision. So I won't really have time to, you know... Um, yeah, like get anything done after my sufo. So I'll see if I'll do it before. But yeah, let's do the questions first and print all of these 26 pages of notes so that we're ready for the supervision. So I had all the questions in a document and so I just wrote down some of my answers to it. And I keep this document digitally until after the supervision because there's not really a point in printing it out just yet because we talk about it during the supervision. So I like to, you know, add some things after the supervision. So I just keep this as a digital copy only. And then I also printed out all of my reading notes and I just quickly went over these, you know, highlighted them, annotated them a little where necessary, just to make sure that I really knew what these notes were saying and that I was in the right mindset basically for the supervision. Because in a supervision, you don't really have time to check 26 pages of notes. You kind of got to know your way around the statute, but you can, of course, have a peek at your notes every once in a while. Many hours later. Hi, guys. It's a lot later. Um, and yeah, I had my supervision. I went to the digital verification corps. It all went well. Um, my supervision actually went really, really well, which is like just such a great feeling. Um, like... You know, last year, at this point in the term, like, life was going really bad for me. Um, like, at this point in time, last year, I was crying, like, you know, just, like, on the floor of my room most of the time. Um, and I kind of, like, didn't know how to say that 
and it's so good kind of to see that like you know I'm, I'm still struggling at times like it's not always easy and like this is a hard degree not gonna lie but like it's so nice when like you walk out of a supervision and you had like a moment of success and you know for me this is really like last year this time I was really at my lowest so it's it's so nice to see that like things seem to be working out which is so good um it's it feels good um so yeah um so I just like you know went over my questions again and just added some pink stuff so this is the stuff we talked about in the supervision I mean, we got a gift in the supervision, and this is the only type of gift you want as a law student. A summary of statutory provisions of an act. Like, that's like, that's the gift you want, you know. If, if you want to make a law student happy, like, gift them something like that. Like, that is something we can work with. And then I have all of my notes here, and I went over them, highlighted them, annotated them a little. And yeah, I'm just going to put all of these in my folders, and... Yeah, then I'm going to go to bed and just sleep. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the end of the vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, it means a lot. Also, I realized that my channel has grown a lot over the past few weeks. Um, my subscriber count has literally doubled, um, which is crazy. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much. And if you're new here, um, welcome. Should have said that at the beginning of the vlog, but hey. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Bye.